Hi, this is Chef Kikuchi. Watch my interview in Hibernian TV. Chef Key, at long last, the deal's now done. You're officially a Hibs player. How does that feel? I feel really good, you know, I have to say. It's, it's only doubt is on me a little bit, you know, I have to say I'm not, not as fit as I want to be and as, as ready as I want to be, but uh, a part of that, I feel really good. Are you going to be available for selection for the game at St Mirren on Saturday? Yeah, 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 I think everything is done, so I'm, I'm involved, involved in... Uh, Saturday game, so hopefully. I see squad number 32. What was the reasoning behind that selection, that choice? Uh, it's my favourite number I had most of the clubs I've been. I had 32 and uh, I have a reason behind that as well, so but that I want to keep keep for myself. So. Has it brought you a lot of good luck though, along the way, the number 32? Yeah, it's, it's been, you know, I had uh, good uh, Success wherever club I've been with with this number and uh, like I said, is my favourite number and also other things which I I keep that number for. Obviously, squad number thirty two. You're thirty five right now, but in your role as a target man, do you feel that age is fairly irrelevant? It's all about your what the experience that you'll bring to the team in that particular role up front. Well, obviously, it's hard to say for myself because. <laughs> You know, people think, well, you know, nobody will say bad things about yourself, but I have to say, you know, I know I'm 35, but uh, I feel I feel quite uh, fit, and uh, you only have to look at last season. I think I played, played most game of in a team. I was uh, old, but I was, I think, the only player who played most of, well, every game since I've been there. And, uh, you know, to me, to me nowadays, age is not that important because it's, it's important how, how well you look after yourself and uh, what you do and how you do. And uh, like I said, I feel strong, I feel good. So a part of that, you know, I think I've been long enough in a game and uh, I was last week watching the game and I see, I see the squad and the team done well, but we got a young squad and I think they need a little bit of help and I don't think it will do any harm for them. What was your first impression of an Edinburgh derby? Because obviously you were a guest, you were invited to, to sit in the stands, you saw firsthand what, what it's all about. What was your verdict on that? I thought uh, Hibs was a pretty good first half. Uh, in my opinion, they deserved to go ahead half time. Obviously, it was a gifted goal for uh, Hearts, the first well, the, the goal they scored. And, uh, but I thought the lads kept the nerve well. and digged in and uh, they got the equaliser what they deserved just before half time and you know scoring that time you know I thought they're going to go and, and win the game because obviously they give give the goal away very cheaply and then come back and just last almost last kick of the of the half and you score that gets you confident and you think that's 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 enough for for this half to come back where we come and just score last kick of the of the half and go second half and you think you're going to win the game, but I have to say the second half was a little bit scrappy game. It wasn't as good as it was the first half, but uh, like I said, it's a no, uh, young young squad, and uh, obviously they're going to get get better every every game, and uh, and they need need some help there. What was your reaction to the atmosphere? It was, it was a really really good atmosphere, wasn't it? It was a really intense, really passionate crowd what was your reaction to it that? was it was pretty good you know and uh, I have to say you know I've been I've been some derbies you know like Sheffield derbies and and few few other ones in in London and whatever but obviously Swansea and Cardiff uh, they're big derbies and I thought it was it was quite good and especially when a couple of tuckers fly in and uh, the crowd seems to get in their toes and it, it was good it was good atmosphere and uh, I think that that's that's what the fans want, you know, wants a little bit of passion and wants the desire from the, their own own players, and that's what they're for. Your brother obviously played here in Scotland, didn't he, uh, up at Dundee? Did you speak to him about what Scottish football was like, or did you speak to other people about what to expect in the SPL? To be honest, uh, my brothers was very short time here, and uh, and they just 
obviously had the problems, the club had the problems and they, they had to get rid of the players and uh, I think he's only played one or two games, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but uh, he couldn't really, really get the feeling of, of, the, of the football up here. Yeah. So in talk, talking about Finnish internationalists who have played here, for here, was probably the most famous of all was Mr. Katalainen, who was an experienced target man who came to the club and was a phenomenon, including scoring a hat-trick against Hearts in a derby. I mean, is that, is that the type of achievement you like to replicate or emulate here at, at Hibs? Well, as you know, I've been I've been few clubs, and uh, the reason behind that is, you know, as a player, you don't want to you don't want to change so many clubs or play so many different clubs. But I always felt, you know, I wasn't happy just sit on a bench and and get paid, you know, especially the age I, I was, and uh, you know, I wanted this. For me, it's nothing better than you train all week and you prepare Friday to get ready for Saturday game and. You know, the clubs I didn't have that, you know, it was, I just wasn't happy to get paid and sit, sit on a bench and I wanted to play football and regular, regular in, in a team and that's why I've been, uh, I've been a few different clubs, but I never try and uh, think of somebody else or, or try and, uh, and do some, what somebody else would and, but always I want to make sure every time on a pitch, I get on the pitch, I give 110% and, uh, and give, show the people what, what I am about and who I am and uh, that's, that's all, all I've always, always done and uh, I have to say pretty much every club I've been, you know, I've got a really good relationship with the fans and uh, the fans obviously they liked, they liked what, what they've seen and, and they really respect that and that's why, of course, Nobody else, nobody ever had perfect game every game. You, you know, you gotta have some bad games. But for me, even if if you have a bad game, long as you try, you give you give 100%. Then, you know, sometimes you know you have to just hold your hands, and sometimes it's not enough. For some reason, either the opposition is be better than your team, or just that doesn't think doesn't go for your for your way. But uh, long as you give 100%.